it's crazy because in my first year of university, I had this question that was, how can I make my art more impactful? And I went on Google and searched, why do artists, you know, create? And you would find these amazing creatives with a background story. And they were mainly focused on like social problems, educating the public. And I would look at myself and say, wow, I do not have a story. The good thing is I let go of that question and just focus on creating with the flow of time. And today is when I answer this question. On a Sunday afternoon, I decided to paint without filming because it could be quite intimidating when having the camera there and you do not know what you're doing. When I am creating an art piece, I'm not really sure what the final image is going to look like, but I am sure that the elements that I'm going to use in the process are going to teach me something new so that I may apply it to the next image. It's a continuous process, you know. Curiosity can be one aspect on why I make art. It is the base in my creating process. Ever since I was born, been a spring flower's daughter. Hibernate till it's warm, and the snow melts to water. But here comes a change, I can feel it inside. I see sun in the cloudless sky, so I. Yeah.
A successful person in my culture is somebody who has successfully graduated from high school. They now enter university and get into a prestigious career, or they're studying for a prestigious career. And then they graduate successfully, get a good job, then get a good husband and wife. In this course, you mostly have like a good house. You have kids. Or while this is happening, you're around your 20s. And I would say some people may not fit this category. I don't, personally. Does that mean I am not successful? Or what does this exactly mean? My search led me to the study of the spiritual forces with which all of us are blessed. And it was in this field that I came upon a clue. I want to describe my discovery in the simplest terms possible. Because it will reveal to you why it is true. Know what success is to me starting i feel like for me i have these goals that are written down and i have started them i have started them i've worked on them i focused on them um and i've ignored all of these little distractions that you know sometimes come in and so do i feel like i'm successful Yes, I am successful. Because I have currently, you know, I've graduated. That's, that's, that's successful. That's a successful story. I have um, started my online store. I'm working on my comic. I have, I have, you know, started my commission. I'm currently just building my career and just working on it and trying out a lot of stuff to see what fits in because as you know the job market in Namibia is quite small and it's quite small here so it's it could be quite a little headache so I'm just trying to build <laughs> something here <laughs> but yeah I don't want to lie. I can't tell the truth, so it's over. It doesn't matter. I know you. No, it matters. Too late. I don't love you anymore. Goodbye.
My affirmation is, I am present. The theme for this month, or the question for this month is, and it's strange because I really wanted to work on waking up in the morning and just, you know, embracing the sun, embracing what I have to do in the morning. I've also realized that since I am getting into this career, I need to treat it like it's a work, it's a job, you know?
Ever since I was born, been a spring flower's daughter. Hibernate till it's warm, and the snow melts to water. But here comes a change, I can feel it inside. I see sun and a cloudless sky, so I. Thank mm-hmm. you.